Today we are doing a temporary Christmas tree. For that first we need to make a cardboard basic. Uh, the basic consists of two parts, a cardboard cone and a cardboard circle. So first we should make a cardboard uh, cone. It's better to use uh, the cardboard of the same color with the thread, uh, as um, if the color uh, differs too much uh, of the color of cardboard differs too much from the color of thread it would be seen under the thread so it's better to use them of the same color as, uh, as we see on this video the color of the cardboard is white so first we will make a cardboard cone for that we need cardboard we need scissors and just a little bit of time. Now we have the necessary piece of cardboard and we accurately make cone from it. For fixing uh, the cone we may use different ways. For example, we may use glue, we may use stapler. So any way you'd like, you may fix it. The most important is to fix it in a proper way, and also it must be very, very accurate. So fix it accurately, because this is how your future topiary will look like, and it's very important to be accurate without any equipments. Now you may uh, cut off uh, some maybe extra pieces. Now your cone is ready. The next step is to make a circle uh, for the second part of the basic of our future temporary. That we also use uh, the same cardboard to make a circle and cut it off. Now we are fixing the circle uh, on the hour cone. For that we use tape. It's better to use invisible tape. Uh, of course you may use glue, but it may be not so accurate. And again cut off all extra pieces of our circle. And now it's ready and as you can see here is also uh, the wooden stick in the center. You may use um, any kind of stick, but I prefer wooden sticks. You may buy it uh, in, a, in any supermarket. It's a, for food, this wooden stick. So now the basic of our uh, future temporary is ready. The second step is to uh, fix in a proper way uh, this uh, wooden stick uh, in the 
uh, our cone in our cardboard cone and to be sure that it won't won't uh, be injured. Okay, now the second step is uh, to wind the thread. For that we use any kind of thread you'd like, any color, any kind. This is just your imagination. And the most important thing is to fix uh, the thread on our cardboard comb. For that you may also use glue, but I prefer also tape. As you can see on the video, I use tape. And when it's ready, it looks like that. Uh, then uh, we start decorating our um, Christmas tree. For that uh, I use uh, just a golden braid at first. Uh, golden uh, braid uh, looks very uh, very nice and it uh, uh, looks uh, very good for Christmas tree, so I use it. Of course you may use any kind of uh, decoration, of Christmas tree decoration, but you should remember that our this temporary Christmas tree is rather small, so don't use too big decorations for that. Now we just fix with the help of super glue uh, this uh, golden braid very important to do uh, this step very accurately. Fix it with the super glue and after that we will start the next step of making of our topiary. Here is, it looks very good I think. And you also should cut off extra pieces of the braid if you need that. Also use uh, some super glue to, f to fix to fix the braid. Okay, now it's ready. As you can see, it looks good. And now the next step: we should uh, make the basic for our berry. For that, we need a flower pot. It's just simple plastic flower pot and um, something to decorate it. I use this uh, special decorative, this special paper for decorations, decoration paper. It's very soft and it's very easy to work with it. And I also use tape for fixing it. To me, for me, it looks uh, uh, very, very nice and uh, very beautiful and it's very easy to fix it and to make beautiful pot. Of course you may use also a wonderful ceramical pot. That such pot um, uh, may be so beautiful that you won't need to decorate it uh, any, in, in any other way. And also you may use maybe some cloth or something else to decorate it. But I use this, just this paper as you can see, it has two colors, red color and gold color, so if you'd like, you may, may even uh, decorate it in different colors. And um, to uh, make it um, not so light, uh, I use uh, some materials. For example, it may be gypsum, clay or bentonite. This is for fixing our uh, tree in a pot and also to, for making pot uh, more heavy. It's very important uh, um, to fix the tree in a proper way. To my mind, maybe uh, gypsum and bentonite are more useful materials because um, uh, they, they are better in fixing, I may say so. So here you can see I use bentonite. It's an ecological material, you may use it with children, that's okay, it's good. And now here, how our board looks like. And now we just need some water. We 
water in our bent knife to make it strong. After drying, it becomes very strong. And now, this is time to fix our Christmas tree in a pot. We just put it in the center of the pot and it's fixed. You just have to wait after the bent knife will dry. And now this is the most pleasant time, the time of decorating the Christmas tree. For that we use uh, Christmas tree toys and uh, in this video you can see that I fix them with the help of pins. Of course you may fix them with the help of glue, with the help of thread, but I prefer uh, fixing with the help of pin. It's very simple and such fixation is very accurate. Also, I decorate our tree with, help, with the, some, uh, some beads. As you can see, toys are red and beads are also red. And not very small beads. Yeah, not very small. And uh, the last step is decoration of our pot. Because a bentonite leaves not very nice. So it's better to cover it with the artificial snow. And of course, Christmas tree should be with some presents and eat. We use candies for that. Chocolate candies uh, will be under our tree as Christmas presents. Of course you may use other toys, but such sweet presents looks very, very nice. So, our Christmas tree is ready. It's a wonderful small topiary with a Christmas atmosphere. Merry Christmas!